Right, I have to get this. Oh! Right. Oh! I have to get this. Oh! 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 Here we go. Oh! 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 The Euros kicking off. Yes. On Friday, we're going to need your help trying to predict who is going to win, and we think we can do this in the proper manner. Are you ready for this? Okay. Aye. Okay. okay, so obviously both England and Scotland, your team, are going to be in Group D of the Euros. So we're going to play a series of quick-fire games to find out who's going to come out on top. Calvin, you're going to play, obviously, for Scotland. Roman, you'll play yeah. for England. Sean, you'll play for Croatia. Right. And I'm going to play for Czech Republic. Naturally. Why not? Of course. Yeah. First one is going to see us listing off as many teams within the Euros as possible, one at a time. England. Scotland. France. Portugal. Czech Republic. Belgium. Spain. Germany. Croatia. Austria. Oh, I don't know. Any more countries. Go on. <laughs> I can't think of any. Go on. I think again. Come on. Two. Uh, Three, two. Egypt. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I panicked. Right, okay, right, okay, okay, okay. Come on. Here we go, here we go. Right, so, Sean, you're, uh, you're right. representing Croatia. Oh, dear. At this point. I probably should have said Croatia. <laughs> 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 yeah, Croatia oh, would have dear. been a good bet. The next game is going to see us reciting a line each from John Barnes's rap from the song World in Motion. Oh. Whoever cannot remember a line will be eliminated. You've got to hold and give. But do it at the right time. You can be <laughs> slow or fast. But you must get to the line. They'll always hit you and hurt you. Go on. I uh, hit you, hey. Time to go and go. <laughs> I don't know. No? No. We're going to have a little bit of a penalty shootout, the final game. All right. Sean, Sonny, you've both got a list of questions in front of you. And uh, we haven't seen these questions. Whoever gets the most right wins the game. Therefore, will lead their country to Euro's victory. Dmitry Kirinchenko set the record for the fastest goal, but which team did he play for? Algeria. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo's record as the youngest player in the Euro final was broken by which player? <laughs> Cesc Fabregas. Okay, Calvin. Super Victor is one former tournament mascot, but where were the Euros held when he served as the figurehead? France. I think it is that yeah, parrot France. thing. It is France. Yeah. yeah. Right, I have to get this. Oh! Right. Oh! I have to get this. Oh! Oh! I have, to, I have to get this right to stay in the game, otherwise yeah. I'm out, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Come on, listen carefully, yeah. Roman. Which team won the tournament the most times during the 20th century? France? No! No! Come on! Well done. Well done. Are we going to be able to see a Funk Wave Bounces Volume 2? Because that album yeah. is just an absolute banger. We've got Volume Thank, 1. Thanks very much, Roman. Is Volume 2 you know on, what? on the horizon? I'd, occasionally I log in at my Twitter and I do get a lot of messages saying that, usually from people in America. The thing is, is that I'm still seeing people discovering volume one <laughs> and I want that to run its course. Yeah. Or I even think about volume two because, you know, I feel like Slide is still... St I mean, I could release that tomorrow. It'd still be a good tune. We still, we still play, play it pretty much every day here. Yeah. yeah we love I don't it. know if there's any need for a new one, I suppose, is what I'm saying. Yeah. I think volume one hasn't quite done its job yet. Does I see that what make you mean. Sense? Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Because there's so many of them. And, and you almost like forget that you've got the tunes on there. Do you know what I mean? Like you forget that, you know, there's, there's songs with Travis Scott on there as well. There yeah. is all sorts in there. But honestly, mate, making it as well. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> this is another reason to not go back. That is, that was, I mean, it was fun, but my goodness, <laughs> it was full on. Like there's a lot of man management. <sighs> A lot of, yeah, it was full on. Is there a vocal that you're sitting on that you're just like, when can I actually put this out? Not really, but there's vocals that I have that I can't ever put out, that I want to put out. Plenty of them. <laughs> After uh, Giant come out, the one with Rag and Bone Man, I had a tune coming out with someone very well known. And it completely fell through and I was gutted, man, because it was going to be class. <laughs> but... um. That's the, that's the only time that's really happened where it's been like, oh, no, that was going to be really good. <laughs> uh, and then there was a couple on Funkwave, like, just because there were so many features, there was a couple that um, that didn't get okayed by the label, which is annoying, but 
you work around it, you know. We're currently joined uh, by someone on Zoom uh, who once had a whole YouTube channel, and correct me if I'm wrong, dedicated to opening jam jars. Calvin Harris, is mm. that correct? This comes up a lot, surprisingly, considering nobody listening will know anything about it. <laughs> um, so talk to me yeah, about the YouTube channel. <laughs> what they do now? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Roman, as I was doing an interview backstage at Wireless Festival in 2007. Do you remember that year? Yes. The feature was, can you open this jam? And it was a really hard to open jam jar. And I thought, wow, I mean, we've really sunk to new lows, haven't we? As far as entertainment goes, <laughs> this is terrible. And this is me back then thinking that, you know. I mean, <laughs> this is, what, 15 years ago now? So... I was like, well, I'm going to do one as well. And this is when, you know, I love the internet. I was uh, excited on MySpace uploading stuff every day and all that. And I went, uh, I'm going to get a really easy to open jam jar and then give it to celebrities. I'm going to see, I'm, I'm going to go, oh, see if you can open that. Ha <laughs> ha. And then they open it and then they look at me like an idiot. I got Goldie. I got Tony Robinson from Time Team. <laughs> He's a great. And I, and I got Katy Perry. Oh, and, uh, very good. Yeah, Katy Perry on her first album. And uh, then that's it. Yeah, that was my whole my whole little thing there. You're back with a brand new banger by your side with Tom Grennan. We love Tom Grennan on this show. Such a top lad. Um, but I guess, uh, you know, when you've got so many different songs or you, you've got a song like this, how long do you have to, like, sit on top of it? Do you worry about it leaking or do you just want to just put it out there as quickly as possible? I don't worry about uh, about music leaking anymore. I think that with me, it's um, people don't really want to steal my music. Like I'm not the sort <laughs> of artist that people are trying to get. Oh, what's the new? Until they hear it, and then they might like it or they might not. But historically, like people people like them. I'm just uh, they're kind of ambivalent yeah. <laughs> until the until the moment they're like, oh no, actually it's quite good. I quite like it. So no, I, I could, I've sat on stuff for years before. Had them all over the internet. Had them on my, on my Dropbox account everywhere. No one's ever stolen in. So it's an invitation, if anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't entice anyone listening. So hacking, <laughs> no, hacking your hard drive. Um, now, let's talk about you working with Tom Grennan. You said, you know, he's one of the best voices out there right now. We love him. He's, he's a bit of a lad. Uh, last time he was in, he was necking pints with Sonny at 8 a.m. So yeah, have you that. literally been working with him or has this been all virtual? No, it's been fully, fully virtual. And the reason I, I first wanted to work with him is because... I've been following him on, on Instagram and all that, and he just seems like the most positive, like, happy guy ever. Yeah. And I like the idea of working with people like that, you know? Um, so, and obviously he's got a banging voice as well. So those two things combined. But yeah, I've never met him. Never, ever met him. Oh, he's such I'm, a lovely I'm, chap. You're going to love him. Yeah. Um, mate, yeah. I mean, I'm going to name a few names. Obviously, we've just spoken about Tom Grennan there, Sam Smith, Dua Lipa, Katy Perry, Ariana Grande, Dizzy Rascal. They're just to name a few people that you've actually collaborated with in the past. Now, is there genuinely anyone left that you'd want to collaborate with? No. <laughs> I think you completed <laughs> it, mate. It. This is my last one. <laughs> I was, was going to wait. I was going to wait to announce this, but this is my last one. <laughs> <laughs>